Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of the F1 2021 mod. Today we're going to be driving the 2021 Haas car as Mick Schumacher as well in the 25% race around Abu Dhabi. But of course, first of all, we need to take a look at the work I've done. I've added the Ural Kali and Ural Chem. Probably butchered that name and I apologise logos to the side. Obviously, that's why they signed Mazepin because... Um, Dimitri Mazepin owns uh, Urul Chem, is it? And he's on the board of Urul Kali. So I've added both of those. Whether both will feature, I don't know. I've also added the Under Armour and DVB logo. I'll come back to that in a moment. I've also updated, though, the uh, for this episode, the uh, Aston Martin car. Because, obviously, there was... Some of you didn't particularly like the shade of pink. Um, it was too light. So I've gone for a more vibrant pink for this episode. I'm not entirely sure what I think about it. it it's very striking, um, is that that pink stripe. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below about that. Um, I might update upload this one to Race Department as well. I will def The hash will definitely be uploaded to Race Department. Check out the description uh, the day after the, up the video is uploaded, which will be Wednesday the 9th of December, for those of you watching on on the date of recording but yes I've also um, there's also chopped off a bit of the Under Armour logo um, I didn't realise that I had I thought that I'd got away that done it correctly but apparently no um, I will fix that for in the, the next for the next one uh, if you, there's something else you want to do as part of this mod let me know but yes I've added them uh, but it serves them right though because of the fact they um, the abomination of Southampton's kit and I've also added the DV Lee logo on on the front end plate as well so yes yeah, so all in all paint hasn't changed it's time though to get into the race for today's Abu Dhabi Grand Prix welcome to Abu Dhabi and we're just about to start today's race here at the Yas Marina circuit this is a track known for its long long back straight and it serves as a fantastic opportunity for overtaking going into the slow speed corners that follow it. We have 21 corners here at the Yas Marina circuit, 12 to the left and nine to the right. It's a total lap distance of just over 3.4 miles. There are two long back straights opening up some passing opportunities into the braking zones. And we expect average lap speeds of around 123 miles an hour. So yes, on the grid, um, it's going to be a one-stop. Um, we're going to try the old uh, medium to soft strategy just because um, we, we did qualifying and we qualified last. So uh, yeah, this Hass's brakes are dreadful. I mean, it's just they've got no stopping power. But anyway, here we are for five lights for this... Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and underway and it's an okay start to begin with we then get the power down and ahead of the Williams and the Alfa Romeo of Kimi Raikkonen up into turn one we got the uh, Williams of uh, Russell so yes we've also got uh, Alonso, Ricardo, and Vettel all fight all the uh, driver transfers so far are being applied as we have to take avoiding action to go to avoid going into the back of Mazepin so you look for a round round uh, Giovinazzi it was close with uh, Russell there um, but here we are just uh, didn't expect the closing speed of Mazepin we have to almost take avoiding action and lucky not to uh, end contact with our Russian teammate moving uh, to end of lap one down the air straight we're now down the inside of Pierre Gasly I uh, don't think we're going to get the move done here he forces us out so um, we've got to make the uses early otherwise he'll, the Alpha Tower is a lot faster than this Haas car um, so he will all just walk away. So we're going to dive it down the inside and move up into uh, P14. So I think that's a very good start. Six places gained on the start. I don't think we're going to make any more positions of the infield start. So that's a Bottas um, from Hamilton and Bottas leading with Leclerc up in third pl place. Um, Sorry, excuse me, Hamilton, Verstappen, Bottas, I should say. As a, there's a midfield fight going on between the Ferraris, Alfa Tauris. Uh, sorry, not Alfa Tauris. Um, Aston Martin says Gasly has to take avoiding action. We won't leave him any space like Kevin Magnussen. And Gasly's going to come at us again. But yes, we've got the Alpines as well up there as well. 
Um, although I think Alonso isn't doing that. He's at the back of the train. And um, Gasly there. We're going to dive it down the inside at the end of the second DRS straight and back up into P14. To be fair, um, Gasly didn't give us really much space, so we had to cut the corner uh, um, in order to make it um, take out the bollard. I mean, I don't know why they have bollards there. They're just they're just a nuisance, um, really. Um, that's the fact of the matter is, is now Bottas has come into come into the pits on the end of that, so we're just going to let him through because he's way faster than us, and he's going on the medium tyres. We jump to lap 8 now, and uh, the Ferrari of Leclerc, who's uh, battling for fourth place, who sort of got away from, I think that's Ocon in the Alpine car, and the two Aston Martins ahead of Albon, who, um, even in tw even if he does retain his drive in 2021, looks like he's continuing his 2020 form at the moment. So we're coming into the pits, and it's going to be an easy three-second stop. Which is probably slow. We're going to come out behind Giovinazzi and Mazepin. Not sure where Gasly is. There is Gasly on the minimap there. So Gasly's lost a couple of places to Mazepin. And he's coming outside. This is going to be neck and neck with Gasly. Coming out of the pits. And he has the better line. And we have to sort of yield. But we will have DRS. And we're now on a better tyre. And you can see here. Going down the DRS straight. We're going to dive down the inside thank you very much better tires up into p16 next up is our teammate dimitri mazepin and we're close to him as well he and both ourselves and mazepin are also closing in on giovanazzi who's in 14th place gasly i don't know he's fallen asleep he's just been pulled along we're going to have to dive down the inside. We can't be forced to be sat behind Mazepin for too long. Otherwise, he'll just slow us up. And uh, can't really make the progress that we really wanted to as we watch. Uh, Spashing Vettel now. Who's, uh, this is the battle for fifth place as well. Um, as you've got Stroll there behind his teammate with Albon. And then Ricardo ahead and Norris. The two McLarens with uh, Vettel. Sorry. Um, Sainz and Alonso rounding out that top. I think they're both outside the top 10 at the end of that. As uh, Giovinazzi has a tank slap on the end of the hairpin. And that's going to allow us to breeze past the Italian in the out for Romeo. Back up into P14. Thank you very much. As uh, we look on the minimap behind us, you can see that Gasly is uh, overtaking Mazepin. So Gasly's starting to wake up. We'll see if he can get here. In actual fact... This is a couple of laps later. Gasly has gone past Giovinazzi and is really on the move now as well. Um, so the Frenchman wants P14. He can't really get his, his teammate. is about 15 seconds up the road at the behind of that train as we're going to force Gasly out as he tries for another move at the end of the first sector. We'll go a bit wide though, trying to look behind us to see where he was. And that's going to allow this. This is on the last lap as well. Um, but Gasly couldn't get past us there. And it's going to be coming home with P14, which, uh, considering how bad the Haas car is, um, I definitely think um, we'll take P14. Thank you very much. Okay. So yes, Lewis Hamilton, Hamilton Verstappen Bottas. Well, that's not changed. Um, I think that's going to be very much the order in 2021, as it has been throughout 2020. Uh, Leclerc P4, whether or not Obviously, Ferraris have apparently got some engine coming, but we'll see if that happens. Vettel P5 for Aston Martin. Ocon 6th, Stroll 7th. Albon down in 8th, although obviously if he gets replaced, then I'll put Sergio Perez into the mod, but that hasn't happened at this time, so I've left him in there with Ricardo and Norris running out of the top 10 with Sainz and Alonso. Two Spaniards in two new cars. Well, not, not adapting very well. And only 11th and 12th outside the top 10. Kvyat as well. Um, lining up there with Schumacher, Gasly. Us, well, ourselves as Schumacher. Gasly, Giovinazzi, Mazepin, Raikkonen. I don't know what happened to him. I think he might have had some damage, which is why he wasn't able to make progress. And then the two Williams, who really don't have any race pace at all. Um, in any... Well, they don't. They haven't had any race pace at all this entire year. Or for the past three years, to, in fact. So... That's for them to, as usual, last place. I think that's where they're going to be next year, to be honest. 
And that's where we're going to round off this video. If you have enjoyed, then leave a like, subscribe to the channel for new, see more episodes of the F1 2021 mod as and when they come out. If you want to see a Pacific car be done next, then let me know in the comments below. If you're new around here, then please do get subscribed as well for weekly Formula One videos. Until the next video, I'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your day and goodbye.